Hello, amazing students. It is almost that time for my fifth graders to soon move on to becoming middle school students, specifically becoming a sixth grader. Are you ready? Take a deep breath in and out. Try this three to five times in a comfortable place. Place your right hand over your heart and your left hand over your stomach. Feel how your heart is beating and how your stomach inflates and deflates every time you breathe. I know all of you might be having mixed feelings like being happy, being maybe scared or nervous about what being a sixth grader means. But don't worry, we got you. You're not alone. So I'm going to share this presentation with all of you. That way you feel much more prepared to becoming a sixth grader. So some of the goals of this presentation is number one, to reduce your anxiety levels about moving on from elementary school. I know, that's huge. Moving on from elementary school. Number two, I want to help you increase your positive feelings about moving on from being a fifth grader to middle school. And number three, I want to give you some helpful tips on how to succeed moving on to middle school. So before I share those tips, I want to share with you the differences between being an elementary student and a middle school student. So being an elementary student means that you get out earlier than middle school students. You have one teacher. Your teacher provides you your schedule for the day. You have a report card. You have recess and lunch. You might have a feeling that you've been there for a long time or, hey, I'm just a little kid type of attitude. And you also have some dependence on your teachers. Moving on to middle school means that you're gonna be leaving at a later time. You will have more than one teacher. Your report card will show letter grades and a grade point average, which will be later reviewed. You also have what's called a nutrition break and a lunch break. You also may feel like, ugh, I'm starting all over, or I am a teenager, please, I know, and less dependence on your teachers. Those are the type of differences that we see between elementary and middle school. Your typical class schedule may also look different. So you can have a first period, a second period, third period, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth, all with different subjects. So second period, you might have math, where seventh period, you might have science. Feel free at any point to pause the presentation so that way you can review what's on the slide. You also may have so many thoughts, I know. You might feel, my friends and I don't have the same teachers and classes, what a bummer. I'm not in the right classes. Middle school is really hard. I just don't understand the grading system. So many teachers are asking me for multiple things. I don't fit in. Some of us may look younger or older in your class. You might also feel like you're not prepared because you missed part of fifth grade and you're not ready for sixth grade. And your hours may change. These are so many thoughts going through your head right now, but don't worry, we got you. You also may remember that there are expectations, just like in elementary school, there are expectations for middle school students. Some of those expectations still follow the CHAMPS, PBIS, meaning a positive behavioral system, and kindness. Just remember, kindness should be everyday language for all of us. Using kind words, treating people with respect, 
caring for one another. Remember, we're all together in this. Report card. So now you will have letter grades or at times may notice percentages. So this is just a breakdown of what a letter A, B, C, D, and F mean. So again, feel free to pause this presentation so you can review these grades. So who is on your team? Because we are all here to support you. You may recognize some of these individuals. We have our principal, Dr. Nocero. We have our assistant principals, Mr. Blevins and Ms. Torres. We also have your teachers and other important school personnel that you will get to meet at some point. How can your parents and guardians help you? Because I know this is a tough transition from elementary school to middle school. You want to talk to your parents every day. Let them know how your day is going. And don't just tell them good or bad. Explain that to them. Find a quiet area to do your homework. And remember, you must read 30 minutes on a daily basis. Check your agenda daily. Make sure that you're writing on it. Check your student connect for your grades and your progress, especially when you're missing an assignment. Also, feel free to contact the school whenever you need help. Your parents can also help you organize your backpack the night before you go to school. And again, my students, we want to encourage you to be independent and be able to be responsible for your own work at school. I want to make sure you know how to advocate or how to support yourself and take responsibility for your actions and behavior. So going back to those helpful tips, let's get organized. Use your Kamala School agenda or any technology device, folders, notebooks, different color pens, to be able to make sure that you have all your work with you. Do your homework every day. Connect with your teachers. Talk to them. Let them know how you're doing and how you're feeling. Get involved. Be part of the kindness club and leadership activities. Get good grades. Talk to your parents and guardians. Find any adult that you feel is going to listen to you. And find those good friends. And stay healthy. If you have any questions about this presentation, feel free to connect with us. You are not alone. We are here to help you along your journey as a sixth grade student. And remember, it is a great day to be a tiger. We believe in you. Siempre es un buen día para ser un tigre. Creemos en ti.